Hi, welcome to Limitless Brain Lab. I am Dr. Shweta Aradhyaya. Oh, thank you to all the comments and the questions and the community. I'm extremely grateful for all the love and the share and care that has been going on on this channel. Today, we will be talking about one mastery, one thing that you can master in your life, one fundamental fact that you learn. I don't think so diseases would ever touch you. I, as a doctor, quite feel sad that medicine is advancing, but health is deteriorating. And health, why is the health deteriorating? Because we are not consciously taking care and understanding very simple, very cheap, very easy methods, which has been taught to us by ancient wisdom, from the ancient wisdom, by the people around us, but we take them quite lightly. So today we will be talking about if you want to live stress-free, if you want to have no problems in your life, you want to become a peak performer, you want absolutely a homeostasis or a balance what is happening in your entire body's physiology. You want to eliminate a lot of diseases. The one mastery that you should have. What am I talking about? I am talking about vagal mastery. Vagus nerve is the longest nerve in the body. Starts from the brain, goes all the way down until the toe. It is also called the vagabond nerve. It just goes on and on and on. And, and sometimes you wonder why is it going all the way? What is it supposed to be doing? Well, what it is doing is it is sensing what is happening in the body and it is giving back that command to your brain. It is sensing if everything is all right. It is one nerve which is important for your balance. As I'm talking to you, as you are listening, as the stresses of life come in, we get into the sympathetic mode or fight, flight, freeze. But essentially what we need for a balance is parasympathetic tone. This parasympathetic tone is nothing but vagus nerve or vagal mastery. My rest happening, my digestion, my entire physiology is happening absolutely perfectly balanced because of this vagus nerve. What are the 10 steps that you can do to have this vagus nerve functional and kicking every single day? When I was a kid, my parents would say, go take a cold shower. And I would say, no, I don't like cold. I would literally cry. And today I understand the value that when you take a shower, which is cold or splash the water of cold water, you activate the vagus nerve. If you are also like me, who has not got, unfortunately, the habit of taking a shower with cold water, Put your hot water or put your warm water, ideal is warm, and then quickly in between, take a cold shower and go back to your warm. Doing simply that will activate your vagus nerve. I'm sure you would have seen all the Wim Hof and the Iceman method and all. Now, we live in tropical countries. We should not be immediately doing such ice bath and ice tasks and all because that may fundamentally shift the temperature for us quite rapidly. I strongly feel, feel as a doctor, you should everything should be acclimatized. Once you learn, once you adapt your body, that's the best thing to do. Because a lot of people keep asking me, what is your take on the ice bath? And I would say, this is my take. Now, when I, I'm a huge fan of natural detox, every year I go to a place called Jindal. Jindal in Bangalore, I stay there for 10 days and they do all the sauna and massages. And after sauna, they always put a little cold water on the forehead. And I would wonder why are they putting this cold water? The reason is when you go into the sauna, the sympathetic axis. Now you want to shift the body's balance to parasympathetic. That's why you do that. That is the second thing. Fasting, I mean, we are, I'm a huge believer in intermittent fasting. I often fast sometimes 14, 16 hours. And then once in a month, I once in a week, I fast. Our good old uh, people used to have specific days, Ekadashi, etc. when we used to fast. Fasting is a great vagal kicker. It just kicks the vagus nerve very immediately. You feel good. You feel sharp. You feel mentally alert. You feel good in your body. You don't have the hunger pangs. Your body's metabolism works well and your vagus nerve also works well. The fourth thing, simply rolling your eyeball, you know, just, just making sure that your eyeballs are rolled up and down. Absolutely simply doing that will activate the vagus nerve. When you're tired, just put your eyes around it and just simply move the eyeball. You will see a large difference in the tiredness. The vagus nerve also goes right here on the side. Gently, 
very, 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 very gently massaging here on the side would activate the vagus nerve and don't do it very vigorously. That is also going to give you relaxation, feeling calmness, feeling centered. Going out and walking barefoot. I often talk about barefoot. I often talk about grounding. I'm a huge, huge, huge fan of grounding because that takes away all the negative ions. That also gives alpha frequency in the brain and also kicks the vagus nerve. There are a couple of pranayams or breathing which we have been talking about. When you breathe in one, so for example, I breathe in four, I hold four and I exhale eight. Any breathing, any breathing that we do one is to two in the proportion of one inspiration and two expiration is what kicks in the vagus nerve. Very simple and very easy, any of the pranayam. The fifth very simple and easy technique is humming and I have been talking about humming bee or the Brahmari pranayam over and over and over again of not just creating the gamma waves, the paroxysmal gamma which is formed, gamma is the top wave, super brain wave. Once you have gamma, all your brain's functions are optimized or totally well functioning. It not just gives you gamma but it also activates this vagus nerve. So humming. Now if you have not been humming, I strongly, strongly advise you to visit the Brahmri video because that is where you it will be taught how you can do the humming. Now, I also like karaoke. You know, when we are doing the karaoke singing, when you just go to for a friend's party, you're singing, you're singing along, you're humming along. That itself is enough to kick your vagus nerve. Also, very, uh, very, very simple and easy looking thing. What uh, can be done is just I want you to touch your sternum and go touch with your two, uh, th uh, two fingers. The sternum is the most prominent part which is there right here or the collar or the bone which will be felt. Just go about two finger breaths, just two finger breaths on the side and very gently massage it. Very, very gently. You can also tap it. You can also tap it or gently massage. These brain buttons in the brain gym, they are called the brain buttons. These brain buttons also activate your vagus nerve. It will also feel you make you feel calm. If you had a tired day, you know, I travel a lot. I, I get onto planes literally like every other alternate weeks, etc. So when I, I, I am tired, all I do is very quick, very easy tapping mechanism of the brain buttons and I do something called the power brahmari. I close, shut down all the lights, let's say in a hotel room or in a house. I shut down every single light what is there keep my uh, hands on the eyes which is also called the Shanmukhi Mudra I close my ears and then I start to hum like the word king you take a deep breath and then mm, as long as you can power I do it for three times I don't need to sleep after that and if I watch my uh, watch you know I mean if I look at my data of the watch or whoop that I'm wearing automatically my pulse will go down my heart rate variability will improve anytime anytime that your pulse is going down and your heart rate variability which is how fast or how well your heart is changing that means you have got the vagal mastery if your heart is fixed every time beating the same with your breathing that means you can invite diseases the idea of doing all these simple techniques and everyday technique is to keep the balance between the sympathetic and the parasympathetic. So start doing these very simple vagal mastery tips and techniques and do tell us how do you feel after that. Please do write in the comment section and we will also very soon be having a workshop exclusively for bringing all the new gadgets. There is also NeuroSim which is there. You just have it from the ear and then a small little battery which activates it and works very well for people with chronic stress. We will also bring in old age wisdom uh, mediated ancient techniques which can make your vagus nerve strong. So thank you very much for watching our videos. Keep writing to us. Signing off, Dr. Shweta Aradhyaya.